Hello ladies, this is Stacy with Stacy's Crafty Jam and I am, uh, this is part two. I'm coming to you today uh, with the part two on the, on my project, my design team project for Line.Arrow, working with the Vintage Slim Journal Collage Pages Kit. Such a gorgeous, such a gorgeous kit. And in meantime, between the last time I filmed this video or shot the part one uh, and now today part two, uh, she came out with this real vintage pages um, from Line.Arrow. Uh, come out with all of these gorgeous vintage, real vintage, um, uh, you know, papers that I'm going to incorporate in um, in my journal. You know, because I'm making this tag book, and I made the tag book on the first video, and uh, I'm going to put a little journal in it. And how pretty will these pages? be, uh, you know, oh, look at that one, will they be uh, in the, um, as a as the journal pages, you know, I was going to, and, and I'll incorporate, look at that one, I'll incorporate, um, you know, some of the uh, other pages in it too, but I don't, this one's pinkish, love it, I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want my, my journal, like this one, to, to be too, um, too big, because my main part of this, look at these pages, they're just beautiful. I love this one. These are like real checks or something. Uh, but I don't want my my journal to be too uh, too big, uh, you know. Because it's it the point of this project is a tag book, and um, you know to put to put tags in. And um, uh, what do I do with my journal pages? Uh, I've already done the front and backs of them, I think. Oh, I don't know what I did with them. Um, but the, oh, here they are. I don't want my, my journal part to be too, too, um, too big. Because, you know, I don't want it to be a gator mouth, you know, trying to, trying to keep things in line there. Um, so, you know, so a fine line I'm walking here. <laughs> and then, uh, but this is the journal pages. And I gotta, I gotta cut these down. Printed on the the backs with these, uh, with some like coffee and avocado dyed uh, papers, and I thought the pinks was pretty, and then these pretty uh, brown coffee dyed. Uh, so I did like an avocado dye and coffee dye on the backs of these, and uh, did these too. But I think these are the ones I want to use in the journal part. I'll fold these uh, in half, like so. And, uh, you know, making making these the journal pages. Um, that's that's my plan so far. But I covered, so I made made the journal, or made the book on, let me set this aside, on the first video where, and then I, I told y'all I was going to um, reinforce the, the folds, which I did. And I used that, that medical tape that I showed y'all. And, uh, and I reinforced everywhere that there is a, a fold. Uh, I reinforced in between each. See, here's my, here's my little small spine. And see how nice the, um, the medical tape there, that clothy medical tape, takes ink really well. And I, and I covered each of these, put a little flap there, but, uh, and I covered each of my, each of my pages uh, with or the envelopes they are, with the pretty paper from her kit. And then this is some of that uh, vintage papers uh, kit. And there's the reinforcement. And uh, pretty paper, uh, vintage papers, um, reinforced. And on this one is where the journal is going to go. So I'll sew the journal in there. And then uh, pretty paper, and I did another flip there. And reinforced everything and then like I say that that um, medical tape takes the ink really well reinforce there pretty paper and then I'll put pockets uh, on on these pages too so there's more place for tags inside these envelopes and then there'll be pockets you know on the on the envelopes too but what I came to you today to do my desk is a mess I need a new mat look at that I had to put washi tape down 
but we're going to work around that. But what I, uh, what I thought I'd do today is show you how to do the, make these the, the actual pockets, or how I'm going to. And um, the, well, you're going to need your um, little circle punch. I'm using a one and a half inch circle punch. And uh, because it's the only one I have. <laughs> but, you know, you can use any size you want. And this is how I'm going to go about doing it. I want the tag. You have to decide where you want the tag to enter or where, where you want your items, your cards, whatever, your ephemera to enter. Do you want them to enter from the top or do you want to enter them from the, from the side? And I want to do the top and the top. And then on this one, I want to do the side. And on this one, I'm going to do the top. And this one, I'll do the top because my journal's here, I think. And then uh, I'll do the top and the top, of course, on this one. And then, I don't know. We'll, we'll just see how, how, how it goes as I go along. And then, let me show you. I've got some, uh, some stuff I've been making. I made this um, little cluster, a uh, little long you know, a uh, vertical like cluster, and I want to put this on my front, because you can still see like that little piece of that tape there, uh, so I'm going to cover that up with that, won't that be pretty, and then I'll, I'll do, I don't know if I'll do, what I'll do over here, but I'll do something there, and then I've got these little banner, um, let me put this other way, and then I've got these little banner clips that I made using the kit, and I'll probably incorporate those in throughout or somewhere. I've got this huge one. He, <laughs> I love it. I uh, don't know quite how I will, um, if I will, uh, but I used the kit and uh, uh, the uh, vintage slim kit and made those. And then here's another cluster that I will use as a pocket. I used the, the kit. And I also used her ephemera kit that she has. And then, won't that just look pretty right there? We'll do that, and then that'll be a pocket. So, uh, I got that. And then I've already started on the tags. Made this tag. And I love how, how these how these turned out. And uh, made that tag. This will go in here. That'll go somewhere uh, in there. I like how I, I did the 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 two, two tags together there going sideways. And then I made some really large tags. Elsa... My cat's just going crazy. And then I made these really large tags. And uh, and see how nicely they'll fit in inside these, these larger envelopes. Made this one too. Used uh, her papers and her ephemera. Uh, she has a, this ephemera kit uh, in her shop. Uh, this is one of her butterflies from her shop. She has a little fussy cut butterfly. Um, I love this, how the tag is pretty on the back. And pretty on the front. I need a topper here, and I'll be good. And so that uh, that's that's where I'm at with the project. So let's get started on opening these up for pockets. So we'll start with this little flippy one, and let me just open that up. And I'm gonna have to get this where I can I can maneuver with it. <laughs> so I gotta find my center here, and the way I do that is I get my pencil. And I measure, I use my little, um, my mat, and I find the center, and my center is about right here. And let me go ahead and find my center here, too. And then when I find the center... When I find the center, I'll mark it, and then that way I've got that. I've done these two already, and then that way I know the best place to put my to do my punching. So let's do our first punch. It's always the most nerve wracking part. So I like to turn this facing me, so I can see what I'm doing, and let me I, let me make a mark. On 
on this tells me where my center is on my on my punch too and then that way I'm double making double sure that I'm that I'm getting my centers and I'm gonna go about that far down I don't know if you let me do it that way I'm gonna do it about that far down making sure I'm you know I'm trying to do this right before I do the punch all right here we go there we go and then look but you still can't reach inside, see? So, I take my scissors, my trusty little scissors, and I'm going to cut a sliver here. But don't go all the way. Um, Y'all got quiet, didn't I? Don't go all the way. There we go. And then, let me cut that. Now that's that. Now it's open on that side, so let's do it on this side, and we'll cut a little sliver here. We'll cut that way. Now we should be able to access in here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, indeed. See there. Now I'm open in there. Of course, we're going to ink this. So let's just go ahead and do it. So I'm going to ink it. My little Elsa's running around here like crazy. Uh, she's been asleep all morning, and I turned the camera on. Here she goes. I don't like that little, that little square thing there. Let me... Cut that more of an angle. And we're inking up. We're inking up. I need to cut that a little better. Elsa, stop. There we go. And then there we've got our we've got our access to the um, to get put the put the tags in, and I'm going to do this on every envelope. Hopefully the other ones are going to go easier. <laughs> okay. All right. So there's that one. So I've got my center marked here. So let's let's do this. And I've got my center marked on my on my puncher too. And then there we go. And then we're gonna cut again. And I had left myself a little bit of leeway. It gets a little more difficult because of that medical tape there. Uh, to cut. I'm, I'm having to really force it, you know, to cut it there. But that, I left myself just a little tad of room here between paper and the top of my envelope because I knew I was going to cut these little slivers. And then we'll be able to access in here like so. But this one is glued all the way over. So I'm going to have to have a, 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 you know, a skinnier, skinnier tag. Yeah. There we go. We're good. Where's my inker? All right. And we'll ink that up on both sides there. I'm flipping everything all around. I'm going to make y'all dizzy. There we go. So, this one I knew I, I want from the side. 
But you know, I did not when I when I put all my papers down, I didn't think about the closure of this. So that's gonna you know depend on where I want my where I want my circle. So that being the case, do I want my circle? Do I want my my thumb hole to be in the center? Do I want it to be up up the top here, down here at the bottom? And I'm trying to decide right now. Um, because I think there's going to be a closure coming all the way around, you know, here, tying right here. So that being the case, I don't want to put my opening there. I'm going to put my opening up here at the top. And since I'm doing that, I don't necessarily have to, to measure because I'm not worried about the center. So let me just... Let me just put it there. Plus, I'm going to have a pocket down here. Um, and then we're going to do our cutting. And then cutting on the other side. And then this is, um, you know, it's just just decisions, you know, as far as where you you want your openings on things. But I have my opening here now, and that this might be a good place to put, uh, you know, either the larger card or I mean tags or card or several tags, because my thinking on this is. To, um, to, to, you know, to keep it, I like, there we go. My thinking on it is, you know, just the more tags, the merrier. Because it's a tag book, and I want all the tags in there. So, there we go. That's that one. So, I got that one, that one, that one. So, we're looking good so far. And then this one, I know I want, this is where my signature goes, so I want to access from the top here. So I'm going to find my center. And, you know, you could probably eyeball it, but Stacy uh, doesn't, doesn't trust Stacy. So I, um, I like to find my center. <laughs> And there we are. And then we're going to cut our slivers. And the good thing about this is this book flips and flaps around because it's it's pretty uh, it's not it's not flimsy by any stretch of the imagination, but it's it's pretty flexible, you know. So it gives me the opportunity to to do that. I don't like to cut all the way to the to the very tippy corner. Okay. All right. And then we should be able to open up here. There we go, and I got place for my tags. So we're gonna ink again, and then I'm gonna cut the top on this one too. But it's a really, I, I've enjoyed really a lot making this uh, this project. Uh, it's it's fairly simple. It goes pretty fast, and um, and oh gosh, it's gonna be pretty because you can't go wrong <laughs> with line dot arrow kits. That's for sure. Can't go wrong. Look at those papers. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. I just love working with her papers. So, so much. Um, she had that big sale in December. And I went and, and just bought a bunch. I'm going to put the links to uh, all of the kits that I'm using here. 
in the description. And uh, y'all go get you. Y'all go get this and play. Y'all will enjoy it a lot. And got these little slivers everywhere. Now it's kind of getting. All right. Let me just kind of bend that out. Be, make it easier for me. Is that open? I think it is. Yep, it is. There we go. We're good. Oh, goodness, yeah. And then we'll ink it. And then at decision time on the next one. Where do I put it? I think I'm going to have... Yeah, I'll have to put it at the top because I've got the flip. So, yeah. That's the way that's going to go. So, this is great. Okay, this one. I don't want to put my opening here. Because, I don't know, Because well, do I? I think I want to stay at the top. But this would be cute with these shorter tags. And then, but the, I'm afraid that the, um, the toppers will be cumbersome when I go to, at, at this fold. So I'm going to stick with the top. I'm going to stick with the top, and then this will have to be the top. So we're going to find the center of this. And then I'm going to find the center of this one. And then we'll do our punches. But I hope that y'all are having a good year so far. I am, that's for sure. Really been spending a lot of quality time with my grandkids. These little things get in the way. Let me get them out of there. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it, 2023 is going to be a great year. There we go. And it's time for our cutting. So, let me let me get to cutting. Y'all can hear me get quiet, right? <laughs> okay, where did I just cut? Yeah, I just cut that side. So, I'm cut this one. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. Where'd she go? See how I can fold those pages backwards and forwards because of that medical tape? It reinforced everything. I, I, uh, I saw somebody using paper tape on a video, and I was in the store looking for it. Couldn't find it. And then I happened to um, be walking down the aisle, you know, that has the first aid. And I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Look at that. What if? <laughs> what if? I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever done that. I just hadn't seen it. So, But I used it on another project where I made a folio and it, it worked. It took the ink so good and worked so well. I was like, I'll be keeping this tape and using it again and again. It came two rolls to the to the pack. So I've got plenty. And then here is my here's my opening here. We're good. And then let me look at this one. 
think my opening is good here. It is. I'm trying to, I think I glued a little bit there. My glue kind of got crazy when I did it. When I glued my papers down. My pretty papers. Well, we got, I think, one more to go here. We do. And I think I did I did the top up here on this one. What if I did the bottom down here on this one? But do I want a pocket here? <laughs> decisions. Decisions, decisions. What should I do, girls? Maybe I should go to the top again. Or this could be one of where I put the, uh, the, the, um, you know, the paperclip thing. Let me look. What if, what if I use this big paperclip thing here? Let me see how that's going to look before I go making decisions. Oh, that, that's kind of cute. And then there could be tags in there. Hey, that's not bad. So let's make our opening down here. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Let me go. We'll just go there. Okay. Cutting top. sure. Did I get open? I did. And I got a little heavy handed on the glue in here. We're looking good though. And then we'll ink this. And these are going to be gorgeous with the tags and um. And then the little toppers of the tags are going to dance out of these little, out of the openings. I, I was, that's what I'm envisioning. And, um, let me see. Where'd my tags go? Let me see here. Uh, this one don't have a dancing opening, but I could put this inside of a pocket. So that one I will... Let me look at this one to see how wide it is. Let me see. Will it go? I don't know. I don't know. It'll go in there. I don't think it'll go in there. But, see, this one would be good in here like so. It sure would. It sure will. I don't care that it's sticking out there a little bit. Well, it can go in there a little more. There it is. There, there you go. And then what? I, well, I, I, I will. I'm gonna remember to put a topper, a little, a little pull, for my tag there. And it, it, that's if I put it in there. But where's my other tag? Then I have this tag. But this is gonna go in a pocket because it's got the toppers there. Or yeah, this will go inside of a pocket. And then here was this tag that could go, let's just say it, it plate, it, it, it sat in here. And then we'll put that in there and then see how that, that dances out the top there. Yep. But I, since I didn't think about the closure, you know, let me, you know, just admit that here. Since I didn't think about the closure before I glued down my papers, I'm going to put a, put an element here and I'm going to put my, my, I'm going to use either lace or a, uh, some seam binding, and I'll put that there, 
and I'll glue my seam binding or my lace down, and I think I might use lace, down there, and then I'll do the same back here, but I'll have to find my where I'm even. I think I will. And then I'll put a little element here to glue the, the binding down, or this the lace rather, and then it'll be my closure that'll tie. Does that make sense? So there we go. That's it. It was going to be, you know, kind of a quick thing. And, uh, you know, we're gonna we're still working on it. Still uh, still rolling on this. I got the decorating to go and my journal to sew in. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, and hop off of here. Thank y'all so much for uh, for watching and for, for supporting me, uh, supporting my channel. I appreciate it so, so much. If you're new to Stacy's Crafty Jam, I would be so excited if you would... Um, very much uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, and and play with me um, you know craft along uh, thank y'all so much have a blessed and beautiful day and I will see y'all in the next video thank you so much